In this video, I'm going to help you plan out your next 90 days in business, whether you are a creative entrepreneur or you are a wedding photographer specifically. That's what my background is. Now I'm a business coach for wedding photographers and creative entrepreneurs. And so if you hear my examples and they sound like they are wedding photography based, that is why, but I do work with creatives of all kinds. So Let's dive right in. So first things first is you wanna make sure that you know what your business goals are for the quarter and for the year before you actually go to map them out. So it can be really helpful to take a look at your calendar to make sure you know exactly how much client work you have versus how much time you have to spend on those business goals within the upcoming 90 days. If you are fully booked with client work and you know that it's gonna take you nearly all of your time to deliver on that, it's probably best not to take on a really huge business project during the upcoming 90 days because you're going to probably overextend yourself. Or it could be something as simple as making that making that shift to say, okay, I, this is a goal that's actually really important to me and I do want to still work on it this quarter, but my first step is actually going to look like getting some help or outsourcing something that's on my plate so that I can free up the time and space for that specific goal. So first things first is you're going to take a look at the time that you have and then take a look at the business goals that you have for the overall year and try to figure out which are the few that actually make sense for the upcoming quarter. And I always recommend choosing anywhere between, I always say zero to three. Zero as if you know that you're in like a season of just maintaining and not necessarily growth and you don't want to take on a really big business project. That's totally okay one of your goals could just be you know really going above and beyond for all of the clients that you have serving the clients that you have really well maybe you're in a really tough personal season and so it's okay if you don't have any really big goals over the next 90 days but it's also really helpful for our brains to be like okay that is an intentional choice that I am making for my well-being and for being able to serve my clients really well and there is no shame in that but that's why I say anywhere between zero to three goals when you have three goals on the calendar you can kind of think and tell your brain okay for each month I know specifically which one I want to focus on and make the most progress on and that way you're not context switching between all of your goals and spreading yourself super thin you can take one month to really focus in on one business goal make a lot of progress and then you know take some time over the next two months to still keep working at it little by little but you've already done the hardest part which is getting started and building up that momentum towards that really big project so that's why I say make sure that you're choosing anywhere between zero to three of those goals. The next thing that I want you to do is actually take those goals and take them into a project management system. So something like Trello or Asana. I have heard that ClickUp, Monday, and Notion are also really great options. If you're not a tech person and you don't want to spend the time to have to learn a task management system or software, I recommend just starting out on pencil and paper. But if you are looking Looking to grow your business eventually and eventually hire on some help or even outsource like some parts of your business, I really recommend having a task management system that is online because it makes it so much easier and that way you're not sending emails back and forth. Like you have the project, you have the tasks all mapped out and you can really say, okay, these few tasks are going to be assigned to me versus these few are going to be assigned out to your team. And it makes things really simple. So I always tell people, take the time up front, get your goals and projects mapped out into a digital task management system. Mine is Asana by choice. I used to be on Trello um, and switched to Asana and I can do a whole another video on the reasons why I switched. But I recommend either starting with Trello or or Asana because those are the two simplest ones I would say to get started with and this doesn't have to look like anything crazy you can have one project or one board and map everything out for your one business project in one place I actually sell templates for these in the shop so if you want to check those out I'm going to put it down in the description below but I have three different templates so one is going to help you business projects like I'm talking about and mentioning one is specific to organizing your marketing content and then the other one is specific for photographers or any creative of managing your client workload and all of the different tasks that go under it. But these are really, really great to start off with a template instead of starting off from scratch and have a little crash course and demo on how to use Asana, how to use Trello as well. So if you want somewhere to get started with actually, you know, using a project management system, maybe that's one of your goals for the quarter is learning how to do that, then I have those in the shop. But anyways, I want you to take your business goal bring it into a project management system and start breaking it down into 
milestones and then have those milestones broken down into tasks that are going to take you no more than 10 to 15 minutes to complete. And I know that that sounds really granular and really nitty gritty, but the reason the why we want to break them down so much is because that lowers the activation energy Then it's going to take your brain to actually get started on a task. If you have a task that feels kind of big or kind of nebulous or is something that's going to take you anywhere between 30 to 90 minutes to complete, your brain is automatically going to feel like that's a lot of work and it like doesn't, it wants to like resist it and push it off to the back burner. But that's why I recommend that really breaking down those tasks into really, really small chunks. And then what I want you to do is go and take a look at your calendar or if you have things already mapped out in your project management system, you can just take a look at your calendar in there, which is awesome, and look at where do I have gaps of days where it's a little bit lighter on client work that I can actually slot in these to-dos to actually work on them. You're gonna wanna make sure that you take into account your own schedule, your own working hours, the amount of client work that you have, any admin or marketing days or CEO days in your business. You wanna make sure that you're not scheduling over top of that. But this whole process is gonna really help you see okay, how much can I actually realistically get done in any given week or any given month or any given quarter? And this helps us really reel in that comparison because a lot of times we'll look at other creatives on Instagram and we're like, oh my gosh, they're doing everything. But we have to remember they might have different working hours. They might have a full team behind them that's helping them execute on all of the work. And so really having a visual picture of what your work schedule looks like and exactly how much capacity you have can help you make a really realistic goals and action items that you can actually execute and complete and feel really good about yourself because you're not just constantly pushing things to the back burner. So you want to take those 10 to 15 minute tasks or if that feels overwhelming, just take your milestones and map those out to specific days that you have time to work on them. So after that, you want to make sure that you have some sort of check-in where every single week or every single month you're checking in on, okay, how much progress did I make on this business goal? What are like some of the metrics that we're going to look at or the data that we're going to look at to see how is this progressing? Maybe that is looking at your website analytics of did this um, marketing strategy that we implemented over the last month, did it pay off? Did it start to increase the traffic that's coming to our website? Or did it increase the amount of clicks to the weddings or services page or the contact form? Did you receive more inquiries because of it? And I want to really caveat this by saying like sometimes when we actually implement a project in our business for the first time, we're not going to see as immediate of a payoff of at the end of the month, we're like, oh my gosh, you can see the impact that it has on our business growth. But you want to keep tracking those analytics months and months down the road because usually it takes... I would say anywhere between like three to six months to really see the traction of maybe something that we implemented behind the scenes of our business. However, if you are doing something that is like a project where it comes to refining your client experience, I've had students take the templates that I sell in my shop, implement them into their own client experience for their emails, implementing questionnaires, refining their workflow. And I've had their clients immediately will respond and give them feedback saying, hey, I loved how easy and simple this was or something like, oh my gosh, I love how you have crafted such an intentional experience. And so sometimes you're gonna get that feedback in real time from your specific clients or from your business data too. So it could go either way, but that's just something to keep in mind. Okay, the next thing that you're gonna do is to think about, okay, if this is what I'm focusing on this quarter, what am I saying no to? So maybe this is as simple as creating a, what I call a parking lot for any ideas that come your way over the upcoming 90 days. So give yourself flexibility. I always recommend having like monthly check-ins with yourself too, to be like, okay, does this goal that I set for myself at the beginning of the quarter, does it still make sense? Did something drastic happen in my personal life or in my business where everything needs to change? Like I don't want to bring up the P word, but it's hard if you have a set plan and then things really change. And so we want to be flexible. We want to be adaptable as creatives. Maybe this is, you know, looking at being like, oh, actually things have shifted and changed in my schedule. This project that I thought I wanted to focus on for this upcoming month doesn't really make sense anymore. And something that I heard from my clients or something that I like thought of over this past month would actually be something that's going to help me in this specific upcoming month much better than what I had originally planned. We have the space and the freedom to be flexible and adaptive, so make sure to use that. 
So that was a really quick rundown of how to map out your business goals for the next 90 days. This is something that I absolutely love helping my one-on-one coaching clients do. And it's also something that I will actually do for you in a project management system in the quarterly quick start. So if you're interested in that and if you're like, this feels like a lot, I'm a type B person, I'm not a type A planning person, like give me the plan and I'll execute on it or like, Tell me what to do and I will do it, but it's helpful to have somebody else's brain on board to help map all of this stuff out. Or if you're like, I know my goal, but I have no idea how I would break that down into action items. Look down below, there's gonna be a link to the quarterly quick starts where I will help you do this. I asked you a ton of questions about your business, about your hours and your schedule through a questionnaire and your preferences as well. And then I will map it out for you. And then you have support from me via email and Voxer for a week after as well. So that's a really great option if you're like, this sounds great, but I want help doing it. And if you have any questions on this video, be sure to leave a comment down below. And again, if you haven't already subscribed, make sure to do so. Videos come out every single Monday. And I would love to have you following along on Instagram. And I'll catch you in the next video.